Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lee Whitaker. On camera we've got Lester and I've got a very special guest today to review the Callaway Jaws Raw Wedges. He is a Callaway staff player. He is a fan favourite on the channel. It is the one, the only, Mr Chris Gill. So welcome Chris, welcome you, to the channel, welcome back to the channel. So you're a Callaway staff player, Indeed. what does that mean? So uh, I stock Callaway in, in my shop, I, uh, I promote the product because I believe in it, I think it's a very good product, I think what they offer is fantastic. Personally I think it's the best product on the market. So what Callaway do, they let me have all this fitting stuff to be able to work with um, and I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to wedges and bounces and grinds and stuff. So it is a little bit like my little sort of um, heaven, heaven yeah. 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 So what we're gonna uh, do today, we're gonna have a look at very basically about why there's different grinds, why there's different bounces, yeah. who they're aimed at, why they're aimed at that individual and we'll work from there. Okay, so the Callaway Jaws War has just been released. Yeah overtakes the MD? MD5. Five, MD5. So Chris is going to talk a little bit about the difference between the MD5 and the Jaws Raw and he's also going to go into the difference between grinds and bounces and what that means for you. Then we're going to hit a few shots and then we're going to have a little closest nearest the pin at the end. Oh, not looking forward right. to that. So Chris I'm looking in that bag and there is a lot going on. There is a load of wedges in there. Why have you got so many wedges? I'd... So if you come over and have a look I'll just show you very quickly there's lots of different lofts uh, there's lots of different bounces, different grinds, we're going to touch on that very quickly in a second. But this enables me to fit for every standard of golfer, for everyone has a slightly different angle of approach, we'll have a different strike pattern, we'll have a different whatever the case is within their golf swing. So this enables me to be able to fit correctly. Now people need to be fitted for wedges, for bounces and grinds, just as importantly as they need to be fitted for a driver, to be fitted for a putter, etc. So this is where my little expertise kind of lies. So when it comes to the bounces and the grinds we got here, so I've got 258, so exactly the same loft. They have got, one of them's got slightly less bounce, eight degrees, one has 12. So the X grind, which is this kind of dual grind here, will always have a little bit more bounce for heel and toe relief. So it's gonna give you a little bit more versatility if you open up the face. If we move into the eight degrees, so slightly less bounce, we have even more relief on heel and toe. Really important for the better player that's looking to spin the ball a little bit more, especially that club golfer that comes in a little bit more shallow. You're gonna make contact with the golf ball first instead of the ground, and you're gonna be able to really get the spin on the ball. The other thing that Callaway have done, they've put the two tungsten weights in. I don't know if you can see them just on the toe there, slightly different colors. That improves the centerness of strike. Um, it certainly works from what I've done with all my testing when I fitted myself. And if we look at the face, we have a different face pattern here where there's the groove on groove technology as Callaway just describe it. Certainly improves spin rates, definitely gets a better feel. Slightly lower in the ball flight, um, but really, really controllable for any kind of standard of golfer really. So Lee, you've got the new wedge in your hand there, uh -huh. um, the new Jaws. The MD5 was the previous model, so wh why would I upgrade or what's the difference between that model and this new model that Callaway have just produced? So I've recently come into the Jaws Raw Wedge from Cleveland and the reason I didn't go into the MD5 for me was it launched the ball a little bit too high. Whereas now with the new Jaws Raw, we've got, like Chris said earlier, we've got tungsten weighting in the bottom here, which then lowers the center of gravity on the face and improves centerness of strike. Whereas on the MD5, these were a little bit for show. These sort of circles were more aesthetic, whereas now they've become more functional. Um, and the other reason I went into this is because it's got the black finish as well. So I'm a big fan of the black finish when it comes to wedges. Now, obviously it says raw, um, and I was a little bit expecting the black to go a raw. Whereas when Chris came in, as you can see with these two finishes here, with a silver, you definitely see this rusting up. Whereas the black, I wasn't getting that. And after speaking to Chris, it becomes apparent that the black doesn't rust up as much as the, the stainless finish is. So that's just something to take into account when you're deciding what finish to go for. And also I found with the 58, because we're just gonna play devil's advocate here, that the finish does start coming off the bottom because it's a bunker club. So you will start seeing the finish coming off the bottom of the face and also the bottom of the club when, it's in, um, when you're using it in bunkers. 
I mean, I personally use a the black finish because of the sun in the summer. Yeah. So you get a glare, so it's almost like anti-glare, which is what I like. It's no other reason for me personally, not for fear or anything like that, mainly because I don't strike the wedges anywhere near the middle of the golf club. But Maybe if that's you, why mine's not rolled up yet, because I might actually hit the face. No, but I mean, if you're not, you know, for me, a rusty club, a lot of people, traditionalists, would be like, oh, I don't want a rusty club. But what, why would you want a rusty club? For so, any reason? Well, the... the the, the marketing will tell you that the sp a rusty face will give you more spin. I've seen test after test, and I've, the only test I've seen where it does actually improve is on a wet face. That's me personally. So I've tested a raw finish against a normal finish with a wet face, and I've seen the difference. But totally, it's strike dependent, and that's the big thing. But for me, it was the glare. So I had the Cleveland raw wedges before this. They were rawed up, and the whole head went raw. And especially on a 5860 when it's sort of sitting open, it just stops that glare, which is why with the, the Callaway Jaws Raw, I've gone into the black finish. It's purely for glare and aesthetic purposes, not for any other reason. Groove wise, is there any difference between this wedge and any other wedge or the previous model Callaway wedges? What? So compared to the MD5s, um, Callaway in the new Jaws have, re have produced this, what they call groove on groove technology. Now I know there was a little hint of it with the MD5s where the actual groove of the golf club, the actual line that you know you can see with the naked eye, doesn't play as quite as an important part as it actually does on the gaps between the major grooves. There's a new technology on the face, as Callaway call it, groove on groove. It's been proven to spin the ball a little bit more. It's been proven that it controls the ball coming out of the rough, coming out of a little bit of wet grass because there's a bit more purchase on, on the ball. So all the stuff that they seem to have made the upgrade with from all the product testing that I've personally done and I've read about, actually seems to really get the job done. It doesn't, you don't get the flyers, you don't get the jumpers nowhere near as much. So I think they've done a pretty good job. So Chris, MD5 to Jaws Raw. Yes. Is there a difference in feel? For me, there's quite a big bit in feel. There's, it, this feels considerably softer. Um, I use the Chromesoft X ball, which obviously they're soft ball anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like that kind of pudding, soft, spinny feel. Um, if I hit it a bit harder, perhaps I wouldn't, um, but because I don't hit the ball that hard, I do like that kind of sort of melting into the face feel. I do love the shape of this, it's very round, it's very kind of curved, um, I don't like a boxed wedge. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are some boxed wedges out there and I really don't like them at all. Your opinion is always important, Lester? Oh, I don't know about that, Lee, but... Um, so what do you think? Obviously, I don't use Callaway wedges. Um, I use a different brand. But overall, I like, I like the look of it. It's a nice looking wedge, as Chris has said earlier. It's, it's a traditional looking wedge. It looks nice. It gives you a bit of confidence when you frame the club behind the ball. I've got a couple of concerns. I don't like the grip. I, it just doesn't feel that great. Um, so I'm guessing there's an option of changing the grip which most of the companies do. Um, and also I like to customize my wedges. So I just wonder whether Callaway actually do a customization of this wedge, you know, your name or some branding on it, etc. Cause I feel like for me, I like to personalize everything. And in the past, I know they didn't do much of that or well, the quality wasn't as good. So I just wondering whether they actually do that. Well, let's ask Chris. So Chris, um, do they customize the wedges? They do customize them. You can get uh, the weight colored. Okay. You can get obviously names and product placements or whatever you want on the back of it. You could have your dog's name, your kid's name, any of your girlfriend's name. What about if they're all the same name? I would suggest you don't put a girlfriend's <laughs> name on a wedge. Not when you're married. Leslie. As I found out, I've yeah. got a wedge with an X on there. Which no, he is, doesn't, yeah. no, he doesn't use it. No, he needs a new no. wedge. <laughs> or he just but it. They, do, they do upgrade and they do custom. So you can change, you can get the change in shafts, you get the change in grips. I know I, I'm not the biggest fan of it either, but you can, you can customize each section of the golf club. But they said you can change the colors, you can change the names, change the styles. Um, it's really quite cool. Uh, it's quite a funky little website to go on. So if you go onto the Callaway website, you can actually design your own stuff. I'm an MD5 player, I'm not, but let's just say for example, I'm an MD5 wedge player. I've come to you and my question to you is, is it worth me paying to upgrade to the Jaws Raw? I think obviously anytime you upgrade it costs money and everyone you know costs are quite important with everybody at the minute. I think the best thing is what I say to everybody is if you want to be custom fitted for a driver, for a putter, whatever the case is, but if you want to be custom fitted for the wedges, go and get fitted. You can then make a very educated 
decision off your own back and saying, well, actually, I prefer the feel, I prefer the flight, I prefer the spin rate. Come and see one of us guys. So we're one of the few guys in the Southwest that, that fit for Callaway wedges. Come and see us. If you like them, great. If you don't, then stick with what you've got. Personally, I think it's worth the upgrade but I would always try before you buy. Okay, so that's the review done. I think it's only fair us three have a nearest the pin for bragging rights. Who's making the coffee? I'll go. <laughs> You're gonna go, as the, the Callaway staff player, I think it's only fair you set the benchmark. 110, closest the pin, makes the coffee. One shot? Furthest away, makes Furthest the Furthest away, Furthest makes the Oh yeah, one, one, one shot, shot wonder. You okay. only have one opportunity in life and this is it. So 110, what's your wedge of choice? What loft are you going I'll with? be 50 in it. 50? Yeah. 50 in it. Leicester? I'm gonna see what happens first. I'm gonna go last. <laughs> oh. Only because you boys, oh. are, you boys use the Cali wedges, so I'm a massive disadvantage. And you're professional golfers. Allegedly. I do this for fun. <laughs> I remember when you were fun. It was a long time ago. I don't. You fun. Right, who's right. up first then? Chris. I go first. Right, here we so, go. 110, I've got 54. Sick, right, no pressure, but Callaway's future sales are probably based on this one shot, so you could make or break the company's um, sales. They're going to be like, the new raw wedge didn't sell, and you're the reason. But you're I, the reason if it doesn't. And your own sales as well, because you know, as a Callaway wedge fitter, this should be your bread and butter. They don't call me one. The kids are getting no. Nothing. The kids are getting no presents for Christmas. <laughs> Catherine's all that's, upset that's a with you. Given anyway, I could win the lottery. The kids ain't getting any. Catherine's presents. upset with you, but that's a given as well. That's a given. Yeah. Right. Come on. One ten. Fifty four. Let's get him in there. Oh, it's good. Oh, go left a little. Come on. Is it going to kick go in left. from there? Is it going to kick in? Go left. Oh, oh, that's beatable. What have we got? What's the distance? What? Hey, look. 107, it's short. 4.7 yards. 4.7 yards. Oh. That's all right. Are you worried about 17 that? 17 feet. Oh, you worried? Against you two. <laughs> it's like Stephen Hawkins and Stevie Wonder playing against 4.7 yards away. So, Lee, what have you got? I've got 50. I'm not as massive as... as no? Best. What did you hit? 54? At 54. It's a player, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. I can squeeze it. 110. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Kick, bro. Kick. Kick. Go down the hill. Spin. Spin. Oh, you jammy. He's Shot. used the slate well. Oh, that's, that that's, that's definitely inside yours. He's definitely inside oh. me. What's that one? 1.7 yards. Hey. Oh. Well done. I'm going to use the same club, I think. Fuming. What have we got? He's hit the downside of the bunker to end up there. You've just yeah. got to know the hole, Chris. Well, yeah. evidently. Play, play, the, play the course, not the club. Check oh. out the full time players, that's what <laughs> I'm saying. He's been out there practicing all day. Oh, he's, he's been here since half six. Right. Just, just want to make it known that I don't use these clubs. Okay, and you've not swung anything yet. What's that? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm a, oh, I don't know, it's coming back. That's oh, he's blown it. It's massive. That's massive. Oh, that's, that's a nice shot. Shot. That's nice. It's just... What was it? What was it to beat? It's a bit less. 1.7. That's um, 9.1 9 yards. That's me. That's you. <laughs> I hit the green by making the coffee. Nothing changes. Coffee boy's back. I feel like I haven't lost, really, because I make it anyway. Don't don't go use Starbucks for nothing, do we? I'm going to... I'm going. Uh, Lester, this is, the <laughs> on. this is the only ladder I will be top of. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> Gilly, thank you very much for coming on and doing a review of the Jaws wedges today. Well, um, how about we do a little change? You end the video for me. You end this video. End the video. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our little video of the new Jaws wedges. As I said, if you want to go and get fitted, there will be a local dealer near you somewhere. Thanks very much. If you like what you see, subscribe, ring the bell, comment. Don't think I missed anything. Thanks very much for watching and we'll catch up soon.